Hey guys, so as you may know, a few weeks back I bought the Zoeva Rose Golden Luxury Brush Set. And I said I was going to do a comparison video against Sigma, so that is what I'm doing today. So I'm just going to start in order from the largest brush to the smallest brush. So the first brush is the powder brush, the 106 powder brush. Now with the Sigma brushes, the brushes that compare to it the most would be the F20 large powder or the F30 which is also called large powder but um, they're a little bit different as you can see. Now the difference between the brushes. The Zoeva brush is definitely the softest by a long shot. Obviously this is synthetic um, hair whereas this one isn't. The Zoeva brush is not as dense as the Sigma brushes and uh, not as many bristles. And if you can see uh, this is quite round whereas on the Sigma brushes it's squashed so it's kind of more like an oval shape so it has a different um, shape. As you can see it's kind of oval whereas with the Zoeva brush it's more round so it's not as stiff as the Sigma brushes um, it's fluffier. There's also another brush which I have that compares uh, and that's the Nude by Nature Kabuki brush. Now this one is probably just as soft as the Zoeva brush. It has shorter bristles and it is denser. There are more bristles. And I personally prefer this one over the Zoeva one because when I put powder on my face, I don't dust. I like to kind of stamp it onto my skin, um, which you can do with uh, the Nude by Nature brush because it is so dense. And you can't really do that with the Zoeva brush. It's more of a, a dusting action. So it really, it just depends on how you like to set your face if you dust or if you stamp. <laughs> Alright, so the next Zoeva brush is the 102 Silk Finish Brush and this is what... Seriously, every time I film for the past couple of weeks, someone has called! Oh my goodness! Okay, I am back. <laughs> now, I was talking about the 102 Silk Finish Brush. Now, this one is just your classic Kabuki brush um, with synthetic bristles and it is rounded. Now I have a couple that compare, two from Sigma. I have the F80 which is oh so popular as well as the F84 which is an angled kabuki which it looks a little bit different but it's still along that kabuki synthetic um, line. And then the other one that I have is very similar to the Zoeva brush. It is the Urban Decay Optical Blurring brush. Now the difference between all of these brushes, I find that the Zoeva and the uh, Urban Decay brush need cleaning more often and I'm probably talking about maybe every um, every third or fourth time you use it um, rather than the Sigma brushes. I find that the Sigma brushes can go longer without washing and what happens with the Zoeva and Urban Decay brushes is as you're applying your foundation, it'll look a bit streaky. And this is probably after maybe the third or fourth time that you've, you've used the brush. It'll, your foundation will look streaky, it'll take longer to blend in, um, it, it's just a bit more difficult to work with. As opposed to the Sigma brushes which I feel like can go a bit longer than the other brushes with cleaning. They are all equally as soft as one another. The Zoeva brush is probably a little bit less dense than the other three. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're all very similar. Just that one difference is um, uh, the cleaning time. The next brush is the 110 Face Shape. Now, I don't have any brush that compares to this one. It's kind of like a mini version of um, the Silk Finish brush. Um, they say that this one is uh, for contouring. Now I tried it for contouring with powder and just did not work at all. <laughs> because it's quite dense and stiff and not fluffy at all, it gave quite a severe contour and I just couldn't blend it out and it just didn't work. It was an utter fail. I've never tried it with a cream 
contour or a cream bronzer it might work a bit better with that um, but what I like to use it for is under my eyes for concealer it's pretty good in that department um, but like I said it doesn't compare to anything else that I have. The next brush is the 142 Concealer Buffer. Now I use this one on blemishes. Um, it's a little bit small underneath my eyes, although you could totally use it for underneath your eyes, but I don't. <laughs> the one that it compares to is from Sigma and this one is the P82 Precision Round Brush. There's not a whole lot of difference between these brushes. Um, the Zoeva brush is a little bit longer, the bristles are a little bit longer, um, pretty much the same density, not very different there. And I would say that the Sigma brush is a little fatter <laughs> than the Zoeva brush, but really when, you, when it comes down to using them, they're really not that different. The next brush is the 127 Luxury Cheek brush. This one is very comparable to the F40 from Sigma. Uh, as you can see, they're very, very similar. The difference is, is the Zoeva one is softer, a lot softer than the Sigma brush. The Sigma brush is denser than the Zoeva brush. They are, like, as you can see, they're pretty much the same length and width. I would just say that the um, Sigma brush is probably a little bit fluffier when you use it because this one's just freshly washed. So, it's uh, a bit more compact at the moment, but after you use it, it does get quite fluffy, whereas the Zoeva brush doesn't. So soft. So soft. The next brush is the 227 Luxe Soft Definer. This is comparable to the Sigma E25. Also the MAC 217, but I don't own that one, but I know they do look very similar. Differences between these ones. Again, the Zoeva brush is much softer. Um, one thing I do find uh, when I use these brushes is because they are tapered, I tend to use them to do like really precise blending out of colors on my eyes. And I, I do notice that the Zoeva brush is a lot less scratchy um, than the Sigma one. I, I find the Sigma one is quite scratchy on my eye and can hurt if you're doing some serious blending. <laughs> Uh, but the Zoeva one is much softer. So the differences between these two, um, the Zoeva one is softer and a bit fluffier. The Sigma one is a bit more tapered, comes to a bit more of a point rather than the Zoeva one. They're pretty much the same density. The Sigma one might be a little bit more denser than the Zoeva brush, but yeah, they, they are quite similar. The next brush is the 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. This one is comparable to the Sigma E30, although they look quite different. So the Zoeva brush is more firm, definitely denser. Um, they both come to a nice point, but because the Zoeva brush is denser and stiffer, um, it keeps its point nicer than the um, Sigma brush. Actually, I really like using the Zoeva brush on my lower lash line and just getting a color and kind of putting it on my lower lash line, closing my eye and just going mad underneath my eye. And it just, it works fantastic to um, apply the color and blend it out at the same time. Whereas with this um, E30, it's a bit more precise than the Zoeva brush. So they're not that comparable, but it's the closest one, basically. The last brush is the 317 Wing Liner Brush, and it's comparable to the Sigma Small Angle E65. Now, they look quite different, and they are quite different. The Zoeva brush, it, as you can see, has got a much more severe angle than the Sigma brush. Um, the bristles on the Sigma brush are more firm, definitely more dense. Whereas the Zoeva brush is a bit more floppier. <laughs> that's not a very professional term, but that's what it is. It just, it bends a lot more. So it is harder to get that nice, clean, crisp line, which I like with gel liner. You have to work a little bit more with the Zoeva brush compared to the Sigma brush. The Zoeva brush has less bristles than the Sigma brush. And as you can see, it's also quite a bit 
wider than the Sigma brush. They're not really that similar at all because they are kind of completely different brushes. Um, they're just both angle brushes and uh, but they are very different when you really think about it. Alright, so my final thoughts on uh, Sigma versus Zoeva. Zoeva brushes are definitely softer, that's for sure. They're definitely softer. Um, I feel like they might be a little bit more well made, um, but it really depends on the type of, like what you're going to do with the brush, how you're going to use it. Um, a few of the brushes do look similar when you first look at them, but when you really break them down and really think about it, they are quite different. The sun has gone away into a cloud. I'm using natural lighting, by the way. This is the opposite direction to how I film. Normally, I've got my camera set up back there, and I'm facing that way, but today I just couldn't be bothered to bring out my lights, so I thought I'd use natural lighting with this massive window in front of me. And the cloud has come out and gone in front of the sun. So I'm sorry if... The lighting looks a bit strange right now. I look a little pink, don't I? Yes, I think I look a little pink. Anyway, moving on. I feel as though both companies offer different kinds of brushes. Um, if you are particularly after the, um, the copper brushes, if you particularly want the rose gold brushes, I would definitely go with Zoeva because you are getting more brushes for your money. Um, with Sigma, they are quite expensive if you buy them individually. Like, if you bought the entire um, Copper Range set, I think it's around $400. Oh my goodness, $400! Um, whereas, if you just want to buy a few, because that's what normal people are going to do. They're not going to buy the whole set. They're just going to want a few out of the range. It can get quite pricey. Whereas, if you buy the Rose Golden... Uh, set from Zoeva, you get eight brushes and they're around, um, I think it's $9, $9.45 or something um, per brush, which is really good. And the brushes that they do have in this set are really handy brushes and they're, they're brushes that you're, you're going to need, your basic brushes. I do have a review on the Zoeva brushes on my blog, so I will link that below. I list a lot more information and talk about a lot more things. Um, more in depth about each individual brush. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out with um, Sigma and Zoeva. I think they both offer completely different things because they do they do different brushes. I can't say whether I lean more towards Sigma or more towards Zoeva because there are brushes that I like more than the other. Like for example, with the Kabuki brushes, I much prefer my F84 to the uh, Silk Finish brush. I just, I think it's easier. With the, uh, like the crease brushes, I much prefer my Zoeva brush to the E25. So really, it's, it's a bit of both. I love a bit of both. It really, it depends on what you want and what you're willing to pay. Now the sun is coming out again. So I'm gonna get really white. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, just ask me below in the comments and I will be uh, happy to answer them for you. Thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye! Double hand wave. Bye! Bye!